is October the 3rd. Uh, Casey and I are back at the farm. We got Waylon. Uh, Casey's been uh, busy with school, college, traveling back and forth uh, home and, and getting his studies done and everything. And it is finally cooled off to where we, we can get back and do some coon hunting. Since the last video we made, Waylon has treed 21 coons by himself. And uh, he's made a lot of progression. He's come a long ways. I'm really proud of what he's doing, but he's got a long ways to go. He, he's just a coon hound. He ain't a coon dog yet. So we're gonna get him geared up, cut loose, and we'll see what happens. kind of milled around here a little bit and he's gotten a lot better about getting out and instead of playing and running around trying to figure out you know what his purpose is he's pretty well got it scoped out that, that what he's looking for is a coon now whether or not he finds it or not you know that's that's the that's what we're out here trying to fix and get him um, focused in on, on, on what he's doing but as far as getting him to leave and go hunt, we don't have any issues with that whatsoever. He's uh, he's going on out there pretty good. Now in this area up here, where you see this right here, when that breaks off, that breaks off into a bottom. There's a lot of water in there. And this is kind of a grown up. It's a lot more grown up than what the satellite video shows or the satellite picture shows. So it's... Uh, it's a good spot for him to strike a coon, but I, I expect him to strike for sure. Once he gets on down in there. He's carrying it on towards the little bottom right there. Sounds weird. It's interesting. It may be a pretty hot track. I hope it is. He's 154 yards from where we're standing right now. And he's right on the edge. See, this is a lake right here. This this water's backed up in here. There's a beaver dam right in here. Matter of fact, I had to swim it the other night. You may have heard us talking about it on the podcast. Waylon and I were, I was wading out of it in about chest deep water and le leading Waylon out. And he was kind of bouncing along on his hind legs and a big cotton mouth come right in front of us. And I was holding the phone in one hand and the dog in the other. And we all met right there in the middle of the beaver pond. And fortunately, we all went on our own ways. So, but that's where he's headed towards now is that little beaver pond in there. He's 
Sounds good. I hope we don't have to go swimming tonight. Going down the road, kind of get parallel to him. He should go trees in there, hopefully. About 280 yards. Got straight in there. And he's struck again. He's, he's still on that same track. But judging by the way he's making the smaller circles, he may be trying to find a place to tree in there. He's really working that area right in there as you can see. Trying to check, see where that coon's at. Sounds like he's trying to locate, but he's not 100% sure yet. <clears throat> we want him to locate and go into that, that chop, <clears throat> the chop bark. I would definitely not call him tree, <clears throat> not yet. He's moving on. He doesn't. He doesn't like it. Now I was hunting down here Wednesday, which would have been this is Saturday night. So last Wednesday, he went into an area and did the same thing. And he tree. Sounds good, but he did that right there, and before I could get to him, he left. And what he did, he figured out that coon just ran up the tree, tapped on that tree, and he left. And he went about another 200 yards or so, and he treed and stayed there. When I got there, he had the coon. So I'm hoping he learned from that. in that area in there. There's a small, there's a drain where he's at, right next to a uh, CRP field. It's pretty thick right there, outside of that drain. That's where he's at in that thick stuff. Right on the edge of it. <clears throat> Kind of easing his way back towards. That's pretty close to where he was trying to locate a while ago. This is where he was doing his locating. Stay with it, buddy.
He is not, his confidence level is not where it needs to be. As you can see right here, he's in this same area. And this is where was the first place he did his locates. This was the second place he did his locates. Now he's moving out a little farther west. And that drain runs right down through the middle of that timber right there. He's not exactly sure where that coon's at. I firmly believe there's one in there. <clears throat> and it sounds like he does too, but we just gotta figure out exactly where he's at. And that's his job. In the meantime, we're gonna, Casey and I are gonna walk back to, uh, back to the west here. Kinda get in line to where he's at. He's been, he's been trailing and barking the whole time. He's, he's worked that area over pretty good. And he just threw out two big locates in there. But he's still not, he's still not exactly sure where that coon's at. You'll see that tree switch come on sometimes when they're, when they're stopped. If they're stationary for any length of time, that's liable to come on. But, I mean, he's not treed. But if he figure if he finds this coon, it'll be a, you know he'll will have done a heck of a job. But I don't think this is no rookie here. I think he'll have a little more experience than. Uh, than Wayland does. We're real, we are real close to the truck, so we're gonna get in the truck and go back down here to uh, to the cabin and park there. And we'll have a lot straighter shot going to him in the area that he's going to now. Oh, he made it out. Whatever that track was, or that coon that he was tracking, is out in this rice field. And this rice is this tall, and it is hard to run one out there. So I'm gonna call him back in, and we're gonna go back to the back and uh, and turn loose back there and get out of some of this rice. Whoop! Hell! Wailing hell! Whoop! Hell! Here. You the old tricky Ricky. Come on. Up. Here. Up. Now there's another rice field. Uh, it's a quarter from where we are right now, back to the south. But I'm gonna try to get up here to where this food plot starts, and we're gonna cut him back down in there towards the lake and towards the bigger part of the bottom. Mm -hmm.
tonight. But we were out here. He hunted out good. And uh, things just wasn't stirring good. But now it's, I know I talked about it being cooler, but there's still something you always got to do, especially hunting in the south. And that's check these dogs for snake bites when you get them back up. And I'm going to give him the once over. You can see what that rice, that rice, uh, the husk, the husk on that rice does. It just, it's rough. It's like, it's just like a big briar patch when it's at this, at this growing stage. Well, I'm going to give him the once over. Check him for any kind of injuries. Something that's obvious. And then I'm going to check him first thing in the morning. But I've got, I've got no complaints about him, him, him hunting out the way he hunted. And uh, he, he did exactly what I wanted him to do as far as that goes. And while he did strike and run a little bit, he never, he never treed with the confidence where I could call him treed. And then as you could see, and as you saw on the app, he didn't stay with it. So we'll, uh, maybe they'll be stirring tomorrow night or the next night we'll, we'll be back. Yeah.